I'm Calvin Samuel, Methodist Minister for the Essex towns of Hockley, Rochford and Rayleigh on the edge of Southend. I'm delighted to be joined today by Hannah Wilkinson. Hannah is an MDiv student at Duke Divinity School, which is a Methodist seminary in North Carolina. Hannah will be our preacher today. Hannah's been a family friend since she was a teenager, and it's such a privilege to work with her today, as she is, in my opinion, one of our emerging young preachers. I'm so delighted that Hannah has consented to be our preacher for this first Sunday of Advent. I want to spend a bit of time simply talking to Hannah now, uh, so that we hear a little more of who she is, where she's coming from, uh, and what God's doing in her life just at the moment. Hannah, so really delighted that you said yes uh, to this. Thank let's, you for inviting me. Well, I'm delighted. Let, let's start about what is a good Durham girl doing in the wrong Durham in North Carolina? <laughs> Yeah, that's actually my fun fact. I tell everyone here that I moved 3,000 miles just to live in the same city. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing my master's at Duke Divinity. Um, and yeah, I'm in my final year and it's been a chance to study theology and also um, kind of live some of that out in some church internships, which are kind of integrated as part of my degree. Um, okay. So it's been a really great experience. Um, yeah, and I'm learning all about American traditions and American food. <laughs> so that's been fun as well. Right. We might get around to milkshakes, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> let, let's stick with studying theology. So uh, studying theology is a really interesting thing for you, given that that's not where you started. So studying history at Cambridge, you spend three years doing that. And at some point you decide, yeah, I've got an undergraduate degree in history, I really want to go study theology. Tell us a little bit about that process. Yeah, so I um, grew up in the church, parents are Methodist pastors, and um, had no desire to ever study theology at all. Um, mm. And I think God had some other plans. <laughs> but I, during my undergraduate, when I was studying history, I kept coming up around kind of some questions about women in history and found I loved my undergraduate degree but found a lot of tension in trying to study women and it was a pretty male dominated field and at the same time as I was kind of asking those questions within the study of history I was also asking some of the same questions of okay so where where do women where are women coming up against some of the same barriers in the church mm -hmm. and kind of what's going on there and um, my mum's a pastor and I I knew in theory that there were strands of theology where people believe women couldn't preach or teach but it wasn't until I went to university that I kind of saw churches mm -hmm. um, preaching that and so the two kind of questions started to merge for me right, um, right. and so I actually explored doing a gender studies masters for a while I thought I really felt passionate about this kind of cause of justice and really felt like God had placed it on my heart. Um, and it took me a while to work out that I think God was calling me to ask some of these questions within theology. Okay. And was that a, a liberating discovery or did you go, oh no? <laughs> um, a bit of both. I think, I think when I first applied, it was kind of like, maybe God is asking me to do this. I don't know. So I'm just going to push this door and see if it opens and it opened in a very clear way. Um, right. And so I think, and then I realized I had way more questions than I ever had. So it was kind of a process of, yeah, I think it was a bit of an, oh no, here we go <laughs> <laughs> kind of process, but it's been a lot of fun too. Good. Well, yes, I, I can imagine it was an oh no moment given that you're, <laughs> You're the fourth person out of four in your family studying theology. That's that's a downside. Yeah, and I was so adamant it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> I have a theory that when we say something isn't going to happen, definitely, you know, it's a challenge to God. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you should be saying is, I definitely don't want to win a million pounds or something. I, I, yeah. I don't do that. yeah. Yeah. So, where it's your final year? Where do you think God might be taking you? next what, what what's next for you more study staying in the states coming back to the uk 
I wish I knew. Um, I'm in the process of applying to some PhD programs at the moment. Okay. Just, again, I'm just very open to pushing the door and seeing if it opens. If not, I think some sort of church ministry. Um, I'm really passionate about youth ministry in the church and how okay. um, we're forming particularly young women in the church. So that's why I'm wanting to do some more research or writing around I don't mm. know what form that will take whether that will be a PhD program or not so we'll just wait and see and at this stage are you thinking of staying stateside or are you expecting to come back to the UK or is that also open it's open I think I would like to stay here but okay. I'm also trying to not hold tightly to any expectations and be mm. open to where God is calling me Okay, so the PhD then uh, likely to be something around formation of young women, and your preference would be to do that in the states, if I've understood that correctly. Yeah, partly because um, American programs fund you pretty nicely, and yeah. I would like to be. <laughs> I feel like I'm 24 now. It's about time that I <laughs> at least have yeah. some stable income. <laughs> Coming through, I'm kind of ready to stop being a real student. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I hear that. So that's where I want to, to finish, really. Uh, what is what is God doing in, with you and in you uh, right now, whether that's challenge or opening your <laughs> eyes or just sustaining you through finals or whatever? That is a great, very big question. I would say throughout my whole three years, God has been teaching me that my questions aren't too big for God. And... Mm. Um, I think that's been a really big thing that I have felt like God has been teaching me that God is a safe place to ask my questions. Yeah. So whatever form that takes, I feel like, I think, invigorated to ask my questions. Yeah. Um, and so that's been a very big thing that I think God has taught me throughout my whole time. Mm -hmm. that's, that's fabulous. Gosh, what? What a beautiful image of that idea of a God who is uh, receptive to the questions and creates mm -hmm. a safe space. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Well, Hannah, thank you so very much for talking uh, to us today and sharing a little of your story. And I'm so looking forward to what you're going to share uh, with us. My final question for you is, what can we pray for you about as a church community? Oh, I wasn't expecting that question. That's a great question. Um, I think... Uh, just for clarity, as I just then, as I just then, my next step. I think I'm trying to be open. Um, that's easier said than done. I yes. have an idea very much of where I would like to be and what I'd like to do. Um, <laughs> okay. And so, <laughs> I think yeah, just for clarity in the discernment, so I can actually, I want to honour where I think God is calling me. Um, so yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Well, may I pray for you right now, then? Is that be all right? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Fabulous. Okay. I think I'll thank you for Hannah, for who she is, uh, and the woman you uh, have formed her to be and are continuing to form her to be. Uh, you've heard her articulate the desire of her heart for clarity so that she is genuinely open to where your spirit might call. Uh, I pray that uh, Hannah would continue to grow, continue to be, um, willing to be blown to and fro by the wind of your spirit uh, and continue to be open to the adventure that that entails. I pray for good outcomes for uh, finals uh, and pray for great entry into whatever the future might be. Uh, we look forward to what you will share with us and pray too that your blessings will be with her as she brings our blood. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Fabulous. Really, really good to see you. And thank you so much yeah, for saying likewise. yes to this. Thanks for asking me. It's great. Well, great yeah, to thank see you. you. All right. Yeah, good to see you too. Bye. Bye